Hi guys, my name is Timmy and today we have another fragrance from Swiss Arabian's Exotic Collection. This one is called Nuff. I have the fragrance sprayed right here. And without further ado, let's jump right into the notes. Now the notes for Nuff, we have top notes of bergamot, grapefruit and lemon, mid notes of amber and pepper, base notes of amber, cedar and rosewood. Right in the opening of this fragrance, you do get a blast of citrus. The bergamot, the grapefruit really comes into play, but what's lingering in the background of these two citrus notes are the amber, the rosewood, and the pepper. They're all there. The pepper gives off a really nice spicy vibe, just a tinge of spiciness though, not too much, not too overwhelming, just a touch like a sprinkle. The amber gives it a really nice sweetness, a warmthness, not a really warm or comforting fragrance. I wouldn't say this is on a sensual side of things, but it is quite a warm type of amber, warm, sweet, and the rose is definitely there. I do smell a lot of the rose that's in here, and the rose is not overwhelming as well. It's a really nice, pleasant, soft-smelling rose fragrance. The rose itself leans a little bit on the dark side, so it's not a really nice, fresh rose. Although it is lighter, it does smell quite a bit darker. As it dries down, you're going to start to lose the citrus, the bergamot starts to go away, the grapefruit goes away, and what you're going to be left with are mainly the amber and the rosewood itself. The pepper starts to fade a lot as well as the time goes on. It does last a little bit longer than the citrus is, however, but it really doesn't last all too long into the dry down. Again, the amber and the rosewood really take center stage throughout the life of the fragrance. Overall, it smells quite nice. It's not borderline romantic, but it is a really nice, pleasant scent, a little bit seductive as well, but again, not in a territory where I would say that it's a very comforting, romantic scent, but it's still quite seductive, so it's good to wear when you want to impress someone. Now onto the versatility. I suggest you wear this fragrance in the fall, spring, and winter time. The summertime might be too much considering that it does have a warmish kind of amber feeling. The blazing sun might be too much, but if you're in an air conditioned room, you'll be fine with this fragrance. But again, the best season are the spring, fall, and winter to really allow that warmth of the fragrance to linger and shine in the cold air. In terms of gender, I see this one more on a woman because of the rose and the amber. It does lean more feminine, but a guy can definitely pull this off, no problem at all. If you're a type of guy who likes to wear rose, this one may fit you as well. In terms of vacation, I would say this is good for date, good for formal, good for any time at all really when you want to impress someone. You can even wear this to work. I don't think it's too sweet for work either. So you can wear this to work, to date, and to formal events. Lastly, if you try enough and you enjoy this fragrance, I highly suggest you check out Darva. This one is a more daring, more complex version of Nuff. Well, Nuff is easier to wear warm and sweet, rosy. This one is more on the leather side. It still has a nice similarity to Nuff, but with the addition of the leather, really sets this one to be a more daring scent, be a more unique and complex scent. So if you find Nuff to be a little bit too easy to wear for you, not challenging enough, I highly suggest you to try its daring counterpart, Darva. All right, that's it for Nuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.